Hello, my name is Teacher Bell and welcome to another video tutorial. Today, I will be talking about how you can convert your Word document files, especially worksheets for us teachers, into a Google Form file in a very easy way. So please watch until the end and don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. So, there are two things you need for this one. One is your Word document file and another is the Doc2Form extension. So, if you have existing worksheets in Word documents that you want to convert into a Google Form, then this extension will work best for you. The link to this Doc2Form add-on can be found in the description below, so please check it out. So, there are just three ways to transform your Google Doc to a Google Form. One is, uh, of course, you have to install your Doc to Form add on, open your Word document worksheet, and convert Word document worksheet to a Google Form. So easy as one, two, three. Now let's just install the add on first. So once you click on the link, it will bring you to this page where you can install the add on. So since I have it, it says uninstall. But if it's your first time, it should say install and then add to Chrome. So what I do, what I usually do when I make my Google form is to open a new Google form and open my Word document file and then I basically just copy and paste the questions in the Google form. So I keep on doing that, changing from one tab to another. So the good news about this Doc2Form add-on is you can now easily convert this document into Google form while you are in your Google documents. So a while ago, we have added this add-on in our Google Chrome. So you should find it here again. You go to add-ons, click doc to form, and create form from doc. So here you go. Let me just move this. This is basically the Google form that you open in your Google Drive. It's just embedded on this screen itself. So there are two ways to copy this. You can highlight it and copy it here. But that's taking a little bit. Um, of time so what you can do is highlight this and use selected text so that will be your question number one it automatically copies in this box choose multiple choice and then get the choices copy it here and just put the semicolon to separate the choices okay so that's my question number one now, let's go to question number two. Again, highlight, use selected text, and it will automatically copy it in this box. Now, this is just a question, and they need to type their answers in, so I'll just choose text. Okay. Now, let's add another question. Okay, now, let's add the third question, so highlight, and use selected text instead of copy it so it will automatically it will automatically go to this box since number three comes in two questions what's the most defining moment in your life so far why so um, some of your students may have longer answers so instead of choosing text you can use paragraph so that's basically it and then just as you would normally do you click create form so you can preview how your Google form will look like, view form, and it should look like this. So it's basically the same as how we do the Google form. This is the edit view. You can still edit it while you are here. So you don't copy this link and share it to your students. Instead, click send. 
and it will give you options to share it. So, you can either share it in email, you can copy the link and paste it in your Google Google Classroom or if you want to embed it in a website, you can copy this embed link and paste it on your website. So that's basically it. You just share it as you would normally do when you create a Google Form. So the process is basically the same except that this add-on is saving you a lot of time copy and pasting it from one tab to another just like how I would normally do before. But since this add-on came out, it was easier for me to create my Google Form while I am in my Word document file. So let's take a look at that. Review. And this is how your students should see the form. They can answer it on their end. So easy as one, two, three, right? So thank you for watching and hope to see you in my next video tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.